four out. Sorry, brother. That is going to be ga and he just switched <laughs> right off, but he does. So we are back on the 74U for him. And let's get right into it. Yeah, honestly, I'm really excited about this. Kyle here, he was trying to pull a fast one on us, but he, he pulled out that machine gun just as fast as he pulled out that AR. But it looks like we're just getting a really heavy push on this bottom side of the map as Classy gets a big kill on Kyle, and they slowly push up. Another big kill out of Classy, and another great kill there from Atlanta Days as they slowly just push their way out this map. But as you can see, New York subpar spawning that backside, but they've got both players pushing up towards that turtle right now and behind them in Coop. Atlanta Days gets full spawn controls. They still had two people, three people go down from Atlanta Days as New York started their chance to push through, but Atlanta Days still have got the spawns. Yeah, New York, like New York grabbed the control of the P1, but Atlanta Days have secured their P2 spawn rotation. They gotta hold on to it, though, for at least under 20 seconds if they want to make it worth something. Classy showed off his uh, his nice little 100W CDL skin uh, from League Play with the early two-piece. And right about now, Atlanta Days are looking poised to take a nice early lead as they grab this last 10 seconds with a clean wipe and hold on to this rotation for P2. Yeah, honestly, just a great job from Atlanta just to push through, get those spawns. But they got a nice gunfight. Probably going to go down here on that bottom left side of the map there between number six and number one. Oh, he almost takes him out, but Kyle takes him down. Great kill out of Kyle. This is New York's chance to maybe push up slowly. Atlanta's going to have a pretty decent setup here because all these players are going to push this back temple side. But uh, Majestic's going to get that first kill. He's going to play his life, get out. Pop is going to get a kill towards mid-map jump up. You got two players in this back temple. Yeah, definitely going to be the three sub setup being run for Atlanta Days. It is working out flawlessly for them. The, the sub pressure that they have on the map right now is unstoppable. And right now, it looks like all New York are going to try to flood through the front. Going to find a couple kills back and forth. So it's 2v2 on the hill. The reinforcements are going to come quicker for Atlanta Days than they will for New York. But it looks like New York, they just want to set up for this P3 time. Miracle Whip, he's going to find one on the flank. But just like that, the trades come through. And Atlanta Days are up to a nice, uh, looking to be a 60-point lead. Yeah, honestly, this 60-point lead really comes from just, you got Papa and Majestic just coming in with going 16 and 4 in that first hill. But it looks like there's going to be a couple trades on the map here as Gucci Mane's going to get two kills himself. Yeah, definitely. He's going to find a second one over there. Koopy's going to clean that one up. Almost finds the second just a little bit weak. And now, we'll leave it up to Kyle to clean up the kills on the cuts. He's going to accidentally run into Palm Show, though. He's going to clean that one up. And it looks like uh, we're going to see New York have a bit more of a, uh, a steady P3. Yeah, they're doing a great job just trying to get keep the pressure on it, keep Atlanta Days pushing that back spawn. They're not really able to take it over yet, but they're doing a great job keeping control of this P3, getting some time back. They were down 60. Now they're really only down 30. They're getting some great kills right now. This is going to give them a good opportunity, but they got that one player in the lower area right now. They take them out. Good trades out of them, though. But as you see, New York just slowly pushes their way back in. They get those spawns for this new P4 rotation. But, they're, but Atlanta Days is going to have a good opportunity to possibly get set up here as long as these players move in on it. As yeah, they Gucci, go for the old hill. Yeah, Gucci Mane started off 1-5 and five now on a 6 streak, so he's hunting for those artillery and that cruise missile. He's going to be the last one remaining with a streak on his team. He's just going to play his life. He's going to find that seventh kill, so might have the artillery in hand, but the push now has to come from New York. The kills are going the way of Atlanta, though. Even a team kill getting a little overzealous there. Koopy finds one. The trades are back and forth, and now it's going to be a battlefield of bullets over top of the point. Koopa almost finds the... Th but... Papa Bradley is right on the respawn. Gucci Mane just pushing in right on this turtle hook. Takes out one. Just playing his life like crazy right now. He's just laying down here, but it looks like uh, it looks like Classy is going to take him out right now. Classy with a great two-piece to retake this hill. And Kyle just pushes right in, gets taken out right away. Just great trades back and forth. Kind of in favor of Atlanta still because they have that spawns, but they got a player from New York pushing around the back right now. Gets taken off from back truck. Yeah, I'm pretty... For all things considered, but Atlanta Day is certainly coming out the victor as of right now. But the spawns are starting to parallel with Atlanta Day spying towards P2 and New York pushed up onto P5. You can certainly make something out of this, especially being down a 50. The push is going to start to come in. Koopy's going to find the opening kill. Miracle Whip cleans it up. Class is going to find the last kill on to New York before his team wipes off. So it's going to be all for naught, especially with Gucci Mane on the other end of that barrel. And now, Atlanta is going to push through the trench, going for a three-stack push. Going to find one. Can they do anything more? And surely, they just got called out by New York here. New York, as you can see, I'm rotating right now to pick up these kills. They're playing the two-stack on the hill right now. Looks like they're going to get three on there right now. But you got Classy pushing the backside. Three massive kills out of the Atlanta side. They get they get three down. Uh, Major gets traded out. Majestic, sorry. And then Koopy just gets some kills. New York still manages to hang on. It looks like New York kind of spawned out P2. Atlanta Days is still pushing this P5. But they got this one player just going back and forth. Like Koopy, Palm's going to try to get behind him. Kyle with some big kills on the other side of the map there. 
And uh, New York just doing a great job getting as much of that time as possible and getting the rotation in here. Yeah, Papa Bradley going to be the sole AR for Land Days. It's certainly making good use of it. 18 and 12, taking out that kill, which was certainly not expected. I believe the New York subpar is also running a somewhere three sub setup, so the pressure on this map from both teams is just incredible. Teams are going to get a little bit of wonky spawns here with the way that the players are set up right now, but it looks like New York will have the spawns for a moment before they get the splits. So now a 4v2 practically on both sides for Atlanta. They have to push and get this clear. They find the second player. The spawns are behind them now. They see the information on their main maps. They want to hold on to this P2 spawn as well as this P1 time. But it looks like Kyle not going to make that easy for him. Is he going to find one kill on the Palm Show waiting for reinforcements? It looks like New York, though, they care about this P2 more than they care about the P1 time for right now. Papa going on the flank now. And it looks like New York are managing to push just around with the spawn still in favor of Atlanta. Honestly, great job out of Atlanta. Just to, even though they're losing a lot of time on that P1 now for New York, they did a great job holding it early. They're doing a great job holding down these spawns. They should get a lot of time on P2. A lot of trades back and forth in the middle of this map here. But Papa Bradley just showing why he's great with that AR and why he's using it on this map. 10 he spree. Up, he's on a 10 right now. This guy's going absolutely nuts. He goes on an 11, and he's yeah, just holding down the middle map all by himself. Yeah, I don't want to come off another player except for this guy. He's got all the cuts. And right as we mentioned, it almost caster curse, but he manages to just barely stay alive. Streaks might be coming through, and there it is. The caster's curse finally ruined. Guys, double positive, though. They are on a sub-dominant map. You gotta love it. Atlanta days, though, the setup is 4P2 have been absolutely pristine as they're just holding on every single second. They got one player in the back that's going to be Gucci Mane. He's going to try to work it there, but the two in the front, they have a perfectly set up pinch. Are they going to run straight into the lines of sight? Of these players on Atlanta days, they might just. Bradley finds another two. Kyle, he's going to find one as well. And the players just back and forth. Miracle Whip trying to do something, but with 20 seconds left on the clock, New York going to have to rotate. Yeah, New York's going to have to get a big rotation here because Atlanta days is just pushing through the map right now. They're picking up as many kills as they can, but Koopy gets a really important kill on that P3 there. But they got that number eight player pushing all the way back, and number six is already in those back spawns for Atlanta days. And... Honestly, if New York doesn't get them traded out right now, they're going to have a tough time when it comes another, to spawns. Another five spree, so he might double up on his streaks. Not going to be able to make much use out of that just because of the way streaks work in this game. But Kyle Goopy, they're cleaning up a couple kills. Palm Show makes his name shown on the kill feed. He's going to find one of those kills. Class, he's middle of the map. He's trying to find something. Palm Show goes on the flank, finds one. Is he going to be able to find anything else? Not quite. Actually, he only finds one, so they do get the break onto the hill now, especially with Madge on the help. Didn't think he's going to be able to get much. And here comes the streaks now from Papa Bradley, I do have to think. So now, the hills claimed for Atlanta days, and this is a crucial 20 for them. Yeah, Majestic, they're calling in those streaks. Papa Bradley still has got both his artillery and... Uh, it looks like he's calling in something right now, but... Oh, no, actually, I believe that was Majestic as well. So they, Papa Bradley still has all of his streaks. But Gucci Mane with a two-big piece gets taken out by Classy. New York still trying to fight back here. They've got control of this P4 hill, and they're slowly pushing through that temple side. But they do got a player in the back spawn right now. Let's see if he can do anything. He gets taken out by Majestic right away. As Atlanta days are slowly pushing up on this hill, it's kind of a even trades back and forth. But as New York takes a slight advantage, let's see if we can go down. Classy gets a big kill. Uh, Majestic gets a big kill, and they're calling. Yeah, Papa Bradley immediately calling in these streaks. Yeah, these streaks are definitely going to be a death sentence, unfortunately, for his own teammate. But death sentence for New York. They have to survive these streak onslaughts. Not sure if I like the streak usage of the artillery there. You don't really have anyone close enough to capitalize on, except for Palm Show. He's going to get taken out three versus one. Don't blame him there. Classy, though, Madge, they're going to try to find these kills on the pinch. Classy's going to slide right on in. Got the help of his teammates. The crates going back and forth. Gucci Mane going to be the last remaining player. And L shot around a corner, unfortunately, by the Diamati. And the spawns all wacky right around now. Koopy trying to find the kills that he can. One player left on this hill. It's going to be Palm Show. He's soaking up this time in this P4. Cannot win here, though, for Atlanta Days. Only 13 seconds on the clock. They need more than that. So we will see a P5 rotation. And Kyle's going to be the first point of contact for New York. Yeah, New York doing a good job, though, just trying to get over to this P5, but it's going to be a little difficult when all that Atlanta Days needs is nine points, and they're playing like this. Yeah, they don't have any streaks, but they're all in your back spawn area, and they're pushing through fast right now. They're pushing up right now, but Kyle's got a little bit of an angle. Gucci gets a really good kill right away, though. Gucci with a great two-piece right now. Miracle Whips gets another kill, and that's four oh. down for Atlanta Days. New York takes over the spawns. Atlanta's all the way spawning out P2. Honestly, there's still a chance that they get all of this time. It's only 190, and they're only a full 60 away. So I'm not going to count. That's true. I'm not going to count New York out just yet, especially with the subs that they've got. The push coming through Trench right now, but Classy, he's going to find the trade on to Kyle, who stops the push in its tracks. 
two players left there. They're gonna try to make one last ditch effort, especially because they only need nine seconds. Classy, he's coming around the preamp. Team kills on the palm show. That's gonna be three down for Atlanta Days. Information on the last player is L. That's gonna be all four down. You have to start rotating now if you're in New York. You need this last nine seconds, but you also need to rotate. And look who's there. It's gonna be Mash. He's gonna take down. That's gonna be three down for New York. They've got the presence towards this P1. Can Atlanta Days close it out? Yeah, Atlanta Day is doing a great job just having all this pressure on this hill, but they, Miracle Whips doesn't care. He goes on a four. He's a, he picks oh up God. five. He's going to take this over by himself right now. New York's doing a great job pushing up right now. Atlanta Day is trying to push back. They've got one player right above them right now. Let's see if New York knows, but New York is pushing for these spawns. This top player goes great. down. New York's just getting all the trades right now. They've got a player on a six streak in Miracle Whips. crucial. And we got one player in the back spawn, but all of the players in Atlanta Days are pretty much spawning out. Classy gets a really big kill, but you got three players right now still for New York on that mid hill. They find the two. Kyle finds one. Koopy finds one. The trades are in. It's a one versus one on the hill. It's going to be Palm Show versus Koopy. Palm Show's going to be able to win it out. That's a crucial kill. We need that kill if you are New York. They're going to pinch him out. 20 seconds left on this hill, so they still have time to make something happen here. Bradley, though, he's going to find those two kills. Slides out immediately onto the point. With only four seconds left, I don't know if anyone's closest. But Gucci Mane's going to go down, and that's going to be it. A almost crazy comeback, oh but Atlanta God. Days just barely managed to close it on that P1. Honestly, New York brought that back. They were down, what was it, 140 mm -hmm. to yes. 230 or 241 or something like that on that P4 rotation. They get that P5 rotation, and you know, uh, Atlanta Days uses all their strength. Standoff S and D. We saw it earlier. If you were here for the first series, and honestly, I think that this one could 100% go the way of New York. Oh, definitely, but I think we really need to look out for Papa Bradley just to take over this map with that AR, but let's see what New York's going to do. They're pushing this A side. Looks like they're taking it a little slow by this back box. They got a player kind of backed by White Van over here just kind of watching over them. As Atlanta Day is really just saying, you push into us. We're not coming to you. Or the defense. As as I say that, though, that number six player moves up into Broken, gets a massive kill right there. Papa Bradley, that guy with the AR, you just got to watch out for. Yeah, that trade was so close, yet so far away, and it was a good strat off the rip. We'll talk a little bit more after the round, but let's stay in the action right now. Shoulders coming out from Kyle. You can't chow that from Statue with the sub. He has got an AR. The nade comes through to create the space. And classy is an AR. They're going to come through L. The shots are going through. No one's able to find any kills just yet. Miracle Whip finds a kill on the flank. Papa Bradley, he's right there, and he's not going to be able to find the kill. So 2v4 turned into 2 v Two, Miracle Whip and Koopy, they're looking to rotate over towards this B site. Nobody from Days has the map position to really cover this just yet. Classy could certainly get there. He takes around the court, which is what he does, but he runs into Koopy, who finds the kill. Maj now, he's up top. He's going to be running away. The 51 health, he's going to just merely escape the grass. And it looks like Koopy's going to hunt for the kill instead of go for the bomb. They're right next to each other. The sound cues will be the difference. And Koopy finds the third kill. That's a 2v4 for New York subpar. And honestly, really, that what we got to bring that down to is New York gets gets into a situation where they're in a 2v4, right? They, that's a like a do-or-die situation, especially mm -hmm. on this map when you get setups. And they get lucky where two players from Atlanta Days kind of slowly push out one at a time. They mm -hmm. take out one, and they get another player where they use their movement back and forth, and they play yeah. off of each other to get that kill. Gets into a 2v2, and Atlanta Days, they're two players on the wrong side of the map to even help out. So New York gets out, gets healed up, and they push out. I will say, New York is doing a great job of creating space with different angles. We saw Gucci Mane play that long van angle over towards Zay to create space for his teammate. Just didn't end up executing on that site, but now he's going to be the only player remaining at it as the push from the subs comes through. Bomb is going to go down immediately for a minute day, so New York going to have to play the retake. They've got enough map presence on all sides of the map to really make something happen here. Miracle Whip got a chow off the AR, and he does it. That's an insane kill. Three versus two. Player two, that's going to be Koopy finds one. And the last player might be trying to play the inside angle, but I don't think he's going to be able to with where the bomb's planted. Yeah, he's just slowly pushing up to the statue. He doesn't really know what he's going to do right now. But he gets one kill. He gets two. Can he kill the guy in the bomb? Oh, no, but he gets defused. I thought for a second he dropped the bomb there. I thought we were going to see a 3v1. Nah, you crazy. stick it there 100% of the time. Yeah, man. for sure. I just, for some reason, it looked like he dropped it. I was like, oh, my gosh. But these are great snaps out of class here. That's what we need to see. That'll probably help him go into the next round. A little bit of a confidence booster there. And you know, if we get to round 11, those kills will certainly be beneficial for deciding oh. who gets that round 11. But right now, New York subpar, a bit of a shift from map one. They've taken the lead at 2-0 up. 
They're going to be back on defense. Actually, go. my bad. They're going to be back on offense now as they look to be going for this B-side push towards Brown. They look like they're going to be funneling towards it. I don't think anyone from Atlanta Days is really going to be focused on watching that bottom Brown. But Gucci Mane, the chow, almost gets classy. That 51 health rearing its head again. The flank, though, they have to be cognizant of it. And that's exactly what Koopy is. He finds the kill right into Papa Bradley. That's going to even it up. Four to three now for the side of New York. Yeah, it looks like New York is trying to be... They're, they're playing passive now, but it looks like they want to get aggressive. They all look like they want to make a move, but Atlanta Days is going to do a good job just trying to keep them in that brown area. But we got this back alley challenge right now. Koopy's oh, going to get taken oh. down by Palm. Great angle from Palm. Just lay down there and wait. He was there for a solid 30 seconds plus. We got Gucci Mane this top. Just trying to chow this black tank area on Classy. But yeah, it looks like New York doesn't really know if they can move out or not, but as they try to rotate back right now. Yeah, I'd hate to be classy in this scenario. Gucci Mane's just throwing the excellent shoulders your way. You can't do anything about it. But this is a nice rotation over towards A. I just hope it's not too late for, uh, you know, for nothing. But it doesn't look like Days have really read this. It looks like they're still focused on B. And Miracle Whip finds a nice little timing on the classy there. The stuff we've alerted the all of Atlanta Days. But now Palm Show is in the 1v3. He's getting chowed out by Miracle Whip. Definitely not the guy I want to be getting chowed by right now. 4 and 2. The nade comes through. He's getting pinched out. That's going to be the end of that round. 3-0 up, New York. And honestly, great job from New York to be trapped on that brown and back gas station area. And then just to, like, this play right here is really what kind of scares you the most in New York. You got a player in this back alley. He takes him out right there. And then you got a, they played that A rotation perfectly. Atlanta Days had no idea they left. They push through. They get a kill on Atlanta Days. They get the bomb down. And then it's pretty much wraps from there. They get a good setup going and everything. Really, really good job in New York. And honestly, it's pretty much been all of them throughout this s &D. They're doing a really good job of baiting and switching, playing in their trades and their teammates, even in situations that they really shouldn't be able to. But this early gunfight, Classy gets the angle, doesn't get the kill, though. The wall bang not going to come through. Gucci Mane doing such a great job with shouldering and playing his life. 17 health and gives enough time for Miracle Whip to go on the nasty flank. Bradley gets another trade onto Kyle, though. He's going to throw the shoulders, and Mash pushes up. They're going to be at 3v2. The site retake going to have to come through now for New York if they want to do anything. But they're in the perfect positions to play it. They've got a fine pinch, but Miracle Whip giving up that information. And honestly, with Atlanta Days Turtle on the site, with it being such close range and you having an AR player, it's going to be tough. Yeah, honestly, I really like this play. I have Atlanta Days right now. Just kind of turtle up, let New York push into you. You know it's going to be kind of tough, but Gucci Mane with a great kill on that back tractor. But you got two players in this small fenced off area. Miracle Whip spots them both out. He gets behind one of them. He gets behind both. He picks oh. Oh, Gucci Mane with the assist there. But oh my gosh, that was a great play with last second down. Like just great out of New York there. Great retake. You were right. Like honestly, they had the perfect pinch going on. Atlanta Days, I honestly felt like they had a good opportunity to win that there. But they had that player just get picked off right away. And it was pretty much wraps from there. That's, all, that's where a lot of your minimap awareness has to come through. If, that was, if I were to give one criticism to Atlanta Days, it would have to be looking at your minimap. You are not looking at that top left-hand corner of your screen enough to look at the, the Doritos, your teammates' arrows. You need to be looking at that to know what you have covered. Right. If you know what you have covered, you never need to look there. You can trust your teammates. And even if your teammates lose the gunfight, you have the information there. If one player just changes the direction they're looking for, uh, you know, just a couple seconds to throw a couple shoulders, you get more information. You probably win a couple of these rounds, but is what it is. You're down 4 0. Gotta flip a switch. Yeah, definitely. And I think we're definitely going to see a little bit of a play style difference here as Atlanta seems to be a really aggressive on this B side, but New York really wants to play this A side. Great kill out of Classy on the back. Thanks. Oh. A team kill from Kyle on Koopy. And then Classy gets another great kill, kill on Miracle Whip. And it's immediately a 4v1 here for Gucci Man. Let's see what he can do. As Classy's kind of peeking him over the fence. Gucci Mane's pushing through, and it looks like he's going to go top this red side. He's going to stay his spawn area, but he's completely surrounded right now, and he's getting shot from middle. He's going to get shot from the backside. He gets taken out through the wall, I believe, and that's that for him. Talking about flipping a switch for just like that. Flawless round four, Atlanta Days. A couple of good kills here for Classy. Influenced by a team kill as well. The nade just dropping right there on Coop. That feels horrible for him. And now, finally, Atlanta Days on the board for this s &D. Yeah, definitely. That was super necessary because if you go down 5-0, it's just almost impossible to bring it back. You lose a lot of vibes and everything. But, mm -hmm. you know, 4-1, you still feel like it's doable. Like, it's still a situation where you feel a little bit positive about it. And let's just see, like, what Atlanta does here on this offense. Yeah, certainly. It looks like we're going to see a 4 
uh, a three stack bottom brown for the side in New York. But the information from Madge, he's right behind all three of them. He's gonna find one. He's gonna be able to find the second. He doesn't find the third though. But the teams, they're right there. They're going for the trades. One player is gonna be Koopy. He slid out. He's right next to Palm Show, who's gonna be top. All right. One player that's gonna be number six brown. He's managed to get himself onto the A zone with Classy picking up Koopy. It's gonna be a one v three, make it a zero v three. Atlanta Days, they take the second round, not doubt yet. You know, that was just a crazy play out of Atlanta there. They get a player who pushes right up middle, just commits to that. Like, oh my gosh, this play right here out of Majestic, like, that's exactly what you want out of a player. That's ex like, you need when you need it most, he clutches up and he does exactly what you need to do. Yeah, and I have to appreciate the trigger discipline. In most players oh, yeah. that I see, they uh, they often, uh, you know, they, they shoot at the first pixel they see of another <laughs> character. Having the discipline to at least notice that there's one or more players in that brown area. You don't need to shoot yet. You can just walk right up behind them, and that's exactly what he did. So, on that days, down 4-2 is definitely, definitely more viable now. I'm definitely not counting them out here. But if you're New York, you really want to snuff this out immediately, and I think that's going to be what Koopy's trying to do is he finds the first blood in the palm show. Stuns, nades being thrown into courtyard, trying to gather information, and it looks like we will have a B push here. Information getting known as Bradley's going to shoot from the middle of the map, but the locations are twisting and turning, and Mash going on another large flank. The gunfights are going every which way. Mash is putting down bullets. I, I, everything's happening right now, and New York's just turtled up in brown. Yeah, New York's really just kind of stuck right now. Atlanta, I feel like they're getting a, maybe a little aggressive, but no, they're kind of turtling up now. They're letting New York push them, but it looks like this back alley area is going to have a great play on Majestic as he picks up he picks up one. Oh, I can't really tell what's going on right now, but I'm, I'm sorry. I can't really tell. Yeah, it's just happening yeah. all so fast, especially for us. Uh, if you're on this end, it's hard to tell as of right now. But Maz, he's still in this gas station area just playing this flank. And New York, they got to move. Only 30 seconds left on the clock. They've got to do something. They double chow out Maz. It's going to be a huge kill, but can they do anything with it, especially with the B zone and A zone being covered? Bradley, he finds one. The trade has to come through right now. Bradley finds a second. The nade is there, though. Miracle Whip, if there's a guy you want, it's this guy right here. He's going to be able to grab this bomb. 10 seconds left, he's got to chow or get the ball away. He's going for the chow, and he gets the kill. Oh going to be a gosh. point now for New York. If there's a player you trust to get into 1v1 right there, that is the man you want. He's just got the confidence to take the chow, not even worry about playing the bomb or anything. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And that's exactly what you want to see. Great play by Bradley, but an equally great play by Miracle Whip. So, you know, just find those kills there. And New York is uh, subpar. They were turtled at the beginning. Make the last second play. And now it's only one round away from even in the series. Yeah, honestly, you got to think. New York's going to come out with this confidence. They're probably going to play fairly aggressive. And they're probably just going to get it going right here. But it looks like Atlanta's going to do for a little bit of a mid-A push right now. Uh, New York has a lot of A-side control and a lot of back alley area control. New but Atlanta's playing it nice and slow. They're trying to get some info. They get a great kill. Papa gets an amazing kill on Kyle. Uh, it looks like Papa's going to slowly push up this middle of the map as they've got a player in the back alley, but number four pushed all the way around behind. That's that New York player. He's behind these two players at tank. He doesn't get a kill, but two players Majestic. from New York get some great kills. Majestic gets a great flank again. Gets into a 2v2, but you got that number six, number four player kind of like on top of each other. They don't really know it right now. This is basically two separate 1v1s with where these two, where these teams are positioned. They're not really close enough, and there's going to be the first 1v1 Miracle Whip. I trust him to win that every single time. And now Gucci Mane, he's going to run to Maj, but Maj, he's going to win that one most of the time as well. So now the two 1v1s, like a tournament bracket, have ended up in the finals. Maj versus Miracle Whip, the sub players of each of these teams. Miracle Whip has got to get, you know, just defend these bombs. Maj has to grab the bomb plant somewhere. I think that they know bomb is down with the flash coming through. Miracle Whip, all he has to do is hold this angle. The information from Maj is going to come through, but Miracle Whip, he's just going to play the shoulder. Maj, he has to go plant the nade coming through. He's going to go down to half health. Miracle Whip, though, is he going to chow? Mash has to plan. He only has eight seconds. He only has five seconds. The bomb is going to go down. Miracle Whip's going to win the one versus one. And New York subpar will even up the series one to one. Yeah, honestly, great attempt out of Majestic there. He's honestly another, he's probably the player on Atlanta Days you want. On defense. When you get pushed up like you usually want to on defense, you know, you have a player in, inside of R, inside of Top Mansion, you know, inside of Zig, you know, pushed up in those power spots, you're just trapping the offensive team and their spawns. Subs are incredible for doing that simply because of that close range viability. But we're off now, and it looks like we're going to see a fast B push on the side of Atlanta, but here comes the player from that middle steps area. Going to be Kyle, but he's not going to be able to find much. The trades are going back and forth. We've got a bit of a flat. 
colored kill feed as of right now. And the kills that were happening over at B have spawned them towards driveway. And honestly, that'll probably get them at least two ticks a day. Yeah, they're doing a great job just immediately getting that rotation on A when they spawned up. But uh, Atlanta Day is still doing a good job of maintaining as enough B controls they can. But Koopy pushes in, picks up a big kill. Can he get another one on Papa? Papa takes him out, but Koopy almost had him. It looks like, yeah, Atlanta Day is doing a great job holding down this A side. They should get it right here. But look at the B side control they have, actually, though. Looks like, yeah, yeah they've, they've got one more player still over there. They're going to be spawning over there. They get the A site secured. And New York has two players focusing on that. Well, there's three players of Atlanta Days focusing the B Hill. Like, they're going to have a tough time right now. Yeah, honestly, Atlanta Days is so pushed up into this B zone in the map. They have so much map control, so much map pressure. The gunfight wins are going their way. Magic is going to find one. Class is going to find another. The push is going to be from open steps, but it's not going to be in time. And Atlanta Days put on a clinic. Yeah, honestly... Like, Atlanta Days came out with that, played super aggressive. They pushed up on this B site. It kind of didn't work out, but kind of did. They were able to maintain enough middle of the map, like, middle tiki area control, so that when their players spawned up on A, they pretty much got a free tick and a half, two ticks, and they maintained that A site control, got it, but they never lost that B site advance. And New York really just, they got pushed right back every single time. They couldn't do anything. I think one of the things that a lot of teams forget to do sometimes is you have to make sure that you're balancing the players on your team between A and B on this map. It's so crucial. If you don't have anyone on defense on A when you kill them off B, they're going to spawn driveway. They're going to be able to hop on for free, and that's just going to cost you a round. And right now, it's a look at what Atlanta Days is doing. They get a full wipe. They have someone at B to prevent the spawn there. But now, they might have gotten a little overzealous. New York are able to push up, find a couple kills. But look who's still in here. It's Papa Bradley. This guy went off in the first respawn. Can he go off again? New York, they're a bit staggered right now. They're a bit split up. They need to figure out what their plan is and what they want to do. Koopy finds the kill. That should be one tick over at A. As he finds the second. One more player is Narv. Is he going to be able to find that kill on the kill feed? Nope, unfortunately not. And New York subpar are going to be off respawn. It's Palm Show. He's going to find three in a row. Yeah, Palm Show doing a great job here, but Kyle's going to push up on him with his sub. Like, really not much you can do as an AR when you get a sub that close to you, but it looks like New York is gaining a lot of B-side control. They got one player in the middle to take out. One more player going to be this top stairs here, and he's Matt Majestic's going to get that kill. But New York has two people on the objective and one person pushing up on that stairs. You got a player in money that just took someone out, Papa Bradley from behind as well, and you only have one player left in New York. But New York is slowly rotating back to that A-side because that's where they're spawning, and they got three on it. That's going to go quick if this number four player... It looks like Palm Show can't take a couple people out. He takes out one. He almost takes out a second, but he gets taken down. I'm surprised we didn't see a streak use there from Papa Brown, and I guess this is why he's going on the flank. All times the second, but not going to be able to find the before the tick goes through. Atlanta Days have players there. They're going to be able to clean up that, but look where the spawns are for New York subpar. They're going to be right on the bottom side of apartment. At least two players there. The rest go spawn in that P3 garage. And now Atlanta Days, New York subpar, are going to be fighting for this full side control. Classy Gucci Mane going back and forth. That's a nice two-piece out at Gucci Mane, but can they capitalize on it? The kills are not even at all. 18 to 10 for Atlanta Days. Absolutely decimating in the slang department. But Gucci Mane trying to fix that as he can. That's going to be three down. If they can push through right now, get on this point. This could be a tide shifter right now. And the kill feed for a second there was all yellow for a short amount of time as they slowly start bringing back these lives. But nope, Atlanta Days, classy and palm show. Just bringing it back. They said, no, no, no. We're still here. Kyle's going to get a big kill in this top stairs and he's going to be having a chance to get this kill. But Majestic takes him out just doing what he does best and Gucci Mane gets a kill but they've only got four lives left on the side of New York as Atlanta Days is doing a great job just getting a good set up here picking off players as they can Koopy with a big kill there on Tiki but really you still got to push through all these Atlanta Days players as they're all set up here you got a big fight going down in the middle Koopy with two big kills three down from Atlanta Days as New York is pushing out there's a potential they could get a stack here and get some good damage down as it looks like this back basketball hit from Atlanta Days might be their plan. They only have one no player way. in the kitchen area. No looks way. Like New York takes out one. New York takes out two. New York takes the cap. They're down 12 lives to four. And they bring it back and win that? Four lives. This is the miracle play. And this is where it all started. Koopy finds this huge, huge three-piece on these players right now. He sees them in money. Finds that kill. Madge laying down. Get off your stomach, buddy. He finds that kill as well. And New York break onto the site just to take it like that. Insane play to keep them in this game and stop them from going down 2-0. So that's two rounds, two offensive wins.
And honestly, I think it's coming down to a lot of overextension and not blocking certain spawns on the defensive side. You really have to make sure that you're playing a balanced and elegant strategy because even with four players alive, you can still win the round. And we saw that just then. Kyle, though, he's been making a name for himself this round, finding those crucial kills when he needs to, as well as Gucci Mane. They might not have the stats to back it up, but I'm finding those kills when they need to. Yeah, Atlanta Day started out with a four-man push right over to that ace site, and they all got taken out. But the same thing as last offense for Atlanta Days. They they all four pushed the site, but then New York just focused that site, and now they have full B site control from Atlanta Days. As New York pushes back, Palm Show gets one of them on the rotation. Nothing like a free rotato. Classy gets a big kill. Majestic gets a big kill. And just like that, like Atlanta Days has full map control. What is New York gonna do right now? Koopy's gonna call in a streak right now. He he's gets, got streaks. It looks like it looks like he didn't pick up anybody, but he's gonna take out at least one. Oh, he there takes it is. down one. But Atlanta Days still has this control a little bit as New York is finally pushing Spons back in here. I'm surprised that the spawns are not on driveway. There it is. There's the number three spawn that we've been looking for. Now Atlanta Days are being killed off the B point. Have a free ride to A. No one's even close with the three stack on that. That's gonna go by just like that. Palm show is best free pickings for the rotates. It's not even gonna be close. There's no competition here unless there's a streak that comes through, but Koopy, Kyle, they might have a play here, but it's just gonna go by too fast with a double nade. Just barely catches them. That's the type of thing that you need in this scenario. And now Papa Bradley, he's going on the rotation, finds one kill, but quickly traded out by Miracle Whip. He's got streaks as well as Koopy, so that's going to be a bit of a balanced fight. Now, only two ticks away, one each, 40 seconds left. The lives are even for Atlanta Days, but the pressure from NY might just be enough to hold him out for this round. And as you can see, a number two player over here, a Papa Bradley, snuck past that number five player, and he's actually got this ace side control, but I don't think they know he's there. As he he turns back, Kyle's going to be playing for right over Papa Bradley. I think he knows he's there. Oh, Ooh. Kyle almost wins it. Bradley gets a big kill. They got this ace side. They're going to get it fully secured now. And the lives and time are definitely in Atlanta Day's fa uh, favor right now as Majestic gets another kill. And they're just going to be slowly pushing this out, it looks like. But you got that number three player, that back laundry player on that full flank. But uh, they know he's there, so they're going to keep him pushed back. But it looks like they're going to force the front of the hill now. Yeah, what Atlanta need to do is they need to play for a pick, and that's their opening on Gucci Mane. Papa Bradley doing all he can, but the nades come through from Miracle Whip. He's finding all the kills that he can right now. Papa Bradley doing what he can. He finds a second, finds a third on the team. And Maj going to clean it up as well. Two players on. It's going to be nearly enough as Atlanta and, yeah. days. We've seen all offense rounds. Oh my gosh. It, you know, honestly, usually you see some very strong defenses on this map, but I, I'm glad we're seeing some very offensive maps. But this, like, what really keeps happening in New York that we've been seeing is whenever they get a big, strong push from Atlanta, they commit all four players to that site. And so what happened is they committed four to that A site right away, and then Atlanta Day spawned on the B side. They went up, they moved up, and after a little bit, they get two ticks, and then they all get killed, and they spawn up on the A site. They get two ticks there. And they can just keep playing back and forth. When you have one t one tick to go on each site in only 40 seconds, it's pretty much easy mode for you after that. Yeah, honestly, I prefer to call control TDM, but you have to know the spawns. Uh, yeah. Really, all it comes down to is understanding how you can balance these spawns, and that's exactly what these teams on offense are doing, not even the teams on defense. So right now, Coop going to do a great job of covering the flank, but Classy almost finds the kill onto him. He just barely manages to stay alive. And with three players spawning on top of B, they're going to be able to get at least one tick. Not going to be able to find the second, but just like that, the wipe that we saw from Atlanta Days does the exact same thing for New York. Got four on. This is for sure gone. We're heading over to B. Yeah, and this A site is going so fast, it's not even funny. But as you can see, Atlanta Days is taking this opportunity to get one player in in this full flank, this number one majestic. He loves his flanks, and he knows he knows they're all here. He can he knows he's just he's not shooting anybody. He's just waiting. He's oh my god, he sees two of them. I don't know if I necessarily like the front shot, but he gets one and he plays his life a little bit here. He's gonna oh, he gets out. Hopefully, one of his teammates can clean up this number eight player. But Atlanta Days just did a good job. They're getting their map control back right now. They only have to really worry about one player right now on this backside. Yeah, Miracle Whip really just need to do all he can to be a disruption. That's a nice lead by Kyle to get that kill. Gucci Mane gonna almost find Palm Show, but he just barely manages to escape the grass. Miracle Whip has got to cause some trouble in this kitchen area and inside the spawn if he wants to make something happen for his team. Mash, he's going for the 360 World Star and he gets it! Oh my lord, the pre-fire comes through. All of New York are going to be off spawn. They're going to be firing towards B now. And with the map control that Atlanta Days have, they're looking to end this control right here. 
Hey, and Majestic on a six streak right now. Hopefully he can pick up maybe one more before the end of this round. Get some streaks going. As he's in that top area, he gets one more. He gets his streak right now. He's going to be playing for one more. He's playing for this AR, but Gucci Mane's on that top bedroom right now. As his teammates are fighting it out in mid, Majestic is just throwing rounds out in range right now. He wants this kill bad. And it looks like Kyle and... Oh, they get two big kills in that mid area. One on Pillars and one in Kitchen. And New York subpar are going to be pushing up a little bit as Palm Show takes one of the players out top bedroom. There comes the streak from Koopy, I believe. They're trying to find the opening, but all they're going to hit is Kyle. Unfortunately, no player is going to be impacted by that. Koopy finds one, but the rest of the kills are red for the Atlanta Days. As they're finding an all mowing down. They're not going to count it out just yet. The one in worse conditions. But right now, Maj has got full streaks. Here comes the cruise missile, raining it down upon them. They're all fine. Miracle Whip, see you later, hopefully. There, are you going to kill them? Like, there we go, finally. With 10 streaks, and with, Yeah, and four, four lives remaining. New York subpar can't pull this one out. There's Bradley's streaks as well to put the icing on the cake. And Atlanta Days, hats off to you. We'll see you at map number four. Yeah, Atlanta Days, honestly, just doing a great job. They did a really good job, as like you were saying before. One thing that we saw in the first and second map is New York was doing a great job looking at their mini map, right? But it looks like on this map, Atlanta Days really just... That's what they focused on, really. They just focused on making sure they had map control wherever they could, going back and forth between A and B. But on defense, they did a really good job of splitting their players up and not just All right, committing. we are starting off New York subpar. Going to be spawning on the back side. Going to have to flip the spawns if they want that P2 rotation. Land days are going to hold on to that. And they have the table side for this P1. So going to give them the advantage of pretty much every way. And this is for New York to, to stay alive in the series. In a great first kill right there from Kyle, but I like this number six and number five positioning right now. His number five is on this plane here. Matt Majestic gets two big kills. Papa Bradley with another, and that's three down for New York as they're all spawning, spawning. They're all coming off spawn right now. Looks like Atlanta Days gets all hill control here, and they're just gonna try to hold it down. New York is just trying to force the front and the side right now, but you got a, that player number eight in the back. They're just trying to hammer him down. As Atlanta Days does a great job holding down the plane, Majestic on a five to start it out. Yeah, and this is what we're talking about when we mean look at our mini-map. Look at the lane control from the side of Atlanta Day. He's got one player watching the right lane, watching the left lane, and two players holding up. They're watching everything. They watch the push through. They got hill control. They're just racking up this time. Classy. All he's got to do is play his life, though. The kills could come through and spawn him out. That will spawn Classy out towards the old side. And this push might be the exact break that they need in order to get through. That's going to be two players now for Atlanta Day spawning out. Third should come shortly with the spawns being blocked. Palm Show going to be the last remaining player. And just like that, a dominant P1 answered back with a spawn flip. And now New York set to grab a full 60. Yeah, but right now there is a number eight player Stop. all the way in the back. But they're pushing this. They're forcing this front of the hill and the back at the same time. Atlanta Days just forces their way through with brute force. And they take over the spots. No problem. Nice job out of Atlanta Days there. But New York's going to try to get a counter push going right now. Looks like they're trying to take that plane slash that back blue push right now. Yeah, the AR players are going to pick something off. And there's what I'm talking about. Koopy finds a nice little two-piece match. It's going to be the last remaining player until the reinforcements arrive. He finds one. Gets taken down by Gucci Mane. Gonna shoot him through the hill, but classy. He finds his way onto the point. Gonna be the only one there. That's a huge 14 seconds for the side of New York, so they can get that. Definitely would be helpful towards their goal. And that's gonna be a clean wipe now for Atlanta Day. It's gonna shut down a lot of the dreams of New York of having a rotation at all. And now they will be set up for this P3. Hopefully gonna extend their lead by one by another 60. Yeah, hopefully we're just looking for some trades on New York right now, trying to break out of their spawn, but they did get a pretty nasty split spawn right now. They're gonna be getting that kind of good side spawns right now as Gucci gets a really big kill on the hill, and they should be able to take this over. They just need to watch their back a little bit as this number six player, Papa Bradley, is gonna be behind them. Uh it looks like okay, Palm Show is gonna be on this hill right now. They're gonna have a couple players get traded out and everything. Miracle Whips this top plane right now. Uh Koopy Koopy gets uh takes on Palm Show as Papa Bradley takes out Kyle. So just still great trades out of Atlanta here. It looks like New York's still trying to push through, but you got that number five in Majestic. Always being on your flank. He's just so annoying, but classy with a massive three-piece right there. Yeah, they're just, honestly, it's just all individual plays out of Atlanta right now. Maj got an absolutely insane spree to start off classy, doing everything he could. The only points that New York has really gotten is because of their insane teamwork that they've been able to have, you know, pushing through and that transition and just breaking in when they can. It's really the team play that's going to make or break New York right now. And honestly, they need one of their subs to stick it up. That's going to be Miracle Whip. Guy's been going off all series, two and nine right now. If he swaps this around, I have no doubt that NY could be right back in this. 
Yeah, for sure. But it, look, Atlanta Days just had a perfect break there. They had three New York players on the hill, and they just push in, take them all out. But Koopy on the on the full flanker now picks up two big kills. It looks like New York still got a good shot here, but I don't think they know. Majestic's in the in the spawns right now, messing with them. But they've got these three players pushing up behind them right now. Koopy's gonna take out one. Pop Rally's gonna get a kill. Little trades back and forth. Palm with a great play, jumping off the top yellow there. As all these players from Atlanta Days are still pushing up the, from this front yellow. Yeah, Koopy's on a five now. He's really trying to make this work, but Maj gonna be the able one to take him down. Miracle Whip, though, has got the trade, and that's a nice bit of time for New York. Only down 30 now going into this P5. Palm Show gonna find that opening kill. I might end up spawning that player out towards the back blue side of the map. Nope, spawns him. Graffiti, unfortunately for Atlanta Days, but Palm Show finds another one. The cam's gonna get held for just a moment before the P5. And there he will spawn in the back. That's a nice clean wipe. Last pointing remaining, remaining player. He's gonna be Bradley towards this hill, but he's gonna get taken down. And player number one, that's Miracle Whip. He's pushed up trying to play these cuts. Yeah, honestly, great job out of New York picking up all those kills, getting those spawns. Great kill out of Miracle right there. You just need this out of him right now. He gets two massive kills, almost plays his life. Classy gets classy gets him, but this New York team is set up pretty much perfectly to be able to hold them off. I just, I just would like to see this number one player, Miracle, push into plane maybe and try to get some control back. But he's going to get taken down by Palm. Koopy's going to get an immediate trade, though. Papa Bradley gets a really big kill. Matt, Majestic pushing in the back again, always is behind you. New York still massively getting some great kills here on the hill. They're getting some really important time as they bring it back. Yeah, New York, that's a great, great P5, P4. You want that combo and you got it in your life. That's going to help out massively towards the goal of pushing you to that map 5 S&D where you know you can dominate. And, but back and forth right now, Lantes are going to have the control on the rotation. It's a 1v1 actually now. Is in player number two, there's going to be Gucci Mane trying to find his way in. Spawns are all over the place. Split spawns left and right all over front and center. But now... New York have control of the hill, but they're probably going to lose control of the rotation if they leave it just up to Miracle, who's going to go down. One point, it's going to be Gucci Mane, rotates back, finds one kill, slides out, going to be able to find the second. No, he is not classic, going to win that gunfight. Palm Show going to be the last remaining player, but the names, the shots coming through, and New York held on to the time, holding on to the rotation. New York with just some really nasty trades, getting this rotation in. Classy's going to push up on this top wing with an AR. Maybe he's going to push in. Nah, he's just watching that back blue area. But, oh, Koopy is getting completely flooded right now. Is he going to get... No, he gets taken up. But there's... The whole Atlanta Days team is on that plane control right now. As New York, they had one player spawn out. Hopefully, they can just play some kills right now and just try to maintain these spawns. As Papa Bradley does what he does best. Gets behind him. But Kyle and Papa Bradley are going to have a pretty nasty fight back here, it looks like. Uh, they don't know each other are there right now. Papa Bradley's looking for that number two player, which is Gucci Mane in the back. But Kyle is just sitting here waiting to pounce right now. This is so spread out. Probably going to see parallel spawns towards Graffiti and towards P5. I wouldn't doubt it if it happens, but that kill might have solidified the spawn. There it is in the back top right hand corner. And that's going to solidify it for Atlanta Days. Even though Gucci Mane's back here, he's trying to play slow, waiting for his team. He's not going to be able to block much here. Yeah, there's always space here in the back for them to spawn out. And they're on the hunt. Look at this prowl. There he goes. Gucci Mane finally taken down, but given enough time, it lets Kyle roam through. Not going to be able to break the spawns open just yet. Koopy slides in alone, unfortunately. And just like that, the kills just continue to go Atlanta Days' way. They can't find anything. New York cannot find a single inch here. They might as well just chalk it up, rotate. You're going to be down a bit, but not impossible, especially if you hold P4, P5, like the first rotation. Yeah, Atlanta Days just doing a really good job here. But Koopy picked up two big kills, but really it was just trying to, try to keep them pushed in. You can try to keep them pushed back here, but Atlanta Days is already gaining so much map control. Majestic doing what he does best, but getting taken down by Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip's just going to hold this front. He knows the player's here. He takes down Papa Bradley. Great kills. Great kills out of New York here. Great trades. Good job just playing their lives. Miracle Whip doing what he needs to do best now. Oh, he takes out Majestic with on the heady right now. Classy's playing this front angle. Let's see if he pushes in right now. Oh, he gets stuck by a grenade. The unlucky. Honestly, great kills right now out in New York. They're doing a good job keeping everyone pushed back, maintaining their maintaining their map control right now. And they're going to get pushed right from the front by Majestic. Yeah, Atlanta Days really just has to force the front here. And New York, they lost a lot of points on that P4. I mean, P3, but they're getting a lot back on this uh, P2. And they're getting a lot back on P3. Yeah, I really love the set that New York had going for them. They had playing control. They were pushing out the P2 side, making sure that they can't push from that way. And they had one player watching the Tetris side, so no lames were really available for this push. Now the spawns have forced them to spawn P2. Miracle Whip on a 9. 
Oh, that, uh, like I said, turn up and the game's going to turn right back in favor for New York. Guy was going absolutely incredible. Probably has streaks after that. But now, Atlanta Days do have a bit of a more solid map presence over towards this P4, but the playing control from New York might make up for it. The shots are coming in, raining down like a hellfire rain from the heavens, and now it's going to be all the push. Two kills go the way of Atlanta. Make it 30, as the last player up is going to be Gucci Mane top lane. He's going to slide out, try to make a solo play. He's going to win one gun fight. Mash finds the trade, though. And now, the spawn's going to be in favor of New York for this P4, or P5. But they have to push on. You need this crucial 30. Yeah, great kill out of Papa Bradley on the top of the plane there. But honestly, New York is just doing a great job getting these trades, getting the three down on Atlanta days right there. Uh, it looks like Palm Show is going to be pushing up the middle of the plane. Gucci Mane's in the back right now. He's trying to. It looks like Atlanta Days got these spawns from him and everything here. But Gucci Mane oh, with an wow. amazing kill on top what of red. Oh, snap. my God. And Gucci Mane's going to be playing this back all by himself right now. But New York is slowly pushing up to help him out. You got that number five player in Majestic on P5. But he's probably going to find his way behind everybody somehow. That's what he does best. Yeah, Miracle Wolf tried to make the play, but Gucci Mane, they all fight for the spawns. Even though Atlanta Days has the initial control, the spawns are still in favor in New York. This is oh so close. Here comes the streaks raining from the heavens from Miracle Web. It's just going to be Mash, who, like you said, always raining in behind the players. He's going to try to get on this time. At least he needs to. Kyle playing these cuts. Bradley gets taken down by Kyle again. Koopy doing his best. Mash hops on this time, gets taken down around the corner. Great shots out of Miracle. Gucci Mane going to hop on the time with the help. Here comes the hold that New York know they have in them. They've done it before. They can do it again as Bradley. He's going to fall in two, but the time going the way of New York. 25 seconds still on the time. You want every single second of it if you are New York. But right now, Bradley, he's the man, the myth, the legend for the side of Atlanta Days. Trying to find all the kills that he can. Went on a small force break, but now it's Palm Show's turn as he's going to slide on. Maz is controlling the top lane. The rotation will be in for Atlanta Days and probably going to hold the rest of this time. Yeah, Atlanta Days is in an amazing position to just spawn kill New York right now to get a lot of time on this P1. And honestly, they can win it here, but New York is pushing around that A side of the map on that out, outside by yellow right now. You got the number four, number six gunfight in the back. Kyle wins a big one. And you still got these players trying to push up and play, but Atlanta Days doing a good job just getting some kills right now. And oh, Palm Show just playing around in the plane. He gets a nice kill. Welcome to Palm Show Airlines. And oh, looks like they're on the top plane fighting Kite. Okay, Majestic and, and Palm Show take out Kyle. Class is going to take on Miracle Whip, and uh, Red Atlanta Days is in a good opportunity right here. But Gucci yeah. Mane gets behind him. They don't really know he's there. Look, he's it's probably going to get taken out right now. Yeah, Papa Bradley doing he does best, but New York getting some great trades right there. The time is so close, and New York cannot win here, but Mash has to just stay alive. You want to contest as long as possible if you can, but that's going to be the nail in the coffin for this hill. Kyle finding that kill, going to give the last 20 seconds towards the way of New York. You have to just chalk it up if you're Atlanta Days. You can't really afford to push for this time, but as I say that, they're going to find a four wipe down with six seconds left on the P1. They have the rotation to P2. This is practically impossible. It is is impossible atlanta days are going to close out this series three to one yeah atlanta days does a great job there getting that hill that p1 hill back at the very end but because they take down all of new york they're blocking the spawn perfectly that they get forced all the way to the other side of the map and give them literally no opportunity to make it to the other side of the map. Yeah, that was an incredible, incredible hard point from both of those teams all around. Honestly, a great series all around from both of these teams. It really could have won either way for the most part. So GG's to those guys.